guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Aaron bringing you another SnowRunner video today. Um, as promised, this one's going to be a test drive with the Race Bronco. And just like to say thanks everybody for watching. Um, think that uh, I've got most of the kinks worked out with the video issues. I've got the timing right so my videos don't get cut short, etc. Getting a little bit more fluent in talking during the videos and hopefully bringing you guys interesting uh, content. Um, we're going to do another test drive through Black River today and then we're going to have to switch it up a bit. I think this circuit is getting a little boring so I'm sure you guys don't want us to watch the same thing over and over so without further ado this is the race Bronco um, last time we took the regular Bronco for a test drive um, so engine options 429 big block V8 which is an actual Ford engine uh, gearbox no options, suspension, no options, tires, um, they're all free, who doesn't love free stuff, and they're all excellent uh, wheel performance ratings for all of them, as you can see it doesn't change, but you do get to select what kind of tire tread pattern you'd like to have. Uh, winches, you have autonomous, autonomous extended, and stock. Frame add-ons, spring base antenna, um, just basically has a little coil spring at the bottom of it, as you can see there on the back corner. Um, then there's your regular antenna, which is just a straight up antenna. Uh, the canopy is the little, uh, metal plate on top of your roll cage, the side netting, toolbox in the back and gives you a thousand repair points and a thousand extra liters of fuel. Uh, rear winch will give you another 500 repair points and as you can see it just goes on the back there. And of course a windshield, but I like to have free air conditioning so I didn't put it on mine. Uh, visuals, rims, there's only one rim, you cannot switch, you have no options for paint, it skips right by that category, and decorations, although it lists interior and exterior customizations, there's also no options for that. So, now that you know what you can do with it, let's take it out on the trails. So, uh, I did notice that driving was the first time that the engine was very looped, um, and it gets kind of droney, so, um, you might get annoyed with the engine sound effects, but, um, it does move along pretty good do have all-wheel drive um, and diff lock is on all the time. As you can see here, it is a lot quicker through the mud than the original Bronco. And just like that, we're already through. So, um, it's a little bit slow off the line, but once you're moving, um, it does seem like it's a pretty quick, uh, scout vehicle. Um, also, I did check the trailer store, and you cannot put any trailers on this thing. Um, they're just not available. You go to the trailer store, and there's no options. Um, you could winch a trailer had to, so if uh, you had a scout fuel trailer that you 
previously got from the trailer store with another one, then you could winch it along with this thing and use that for extra fuel capacity. But with a thousand liters, I don't think you're really going to need it. Um, this thing is just a scout, you know, clear the map, that sort of thing. And uh, get you from point A to point B, find upgrades, all that fun stuff. Um, you will note fuel economy quite low as uh, for fuel consumption, and it has an 80 liter fuel tank. But with such low consumption, you don't really need more than that. And like I said, you got a thousand liters in your toolbox, which equates to, I think, 12 tanks of fuel. but I believe you can get some trailers for it. Um, whereas this one you can't. But if you're trying to do a mission or something like that, the other one would obviously be a little bit more useful if you tow a trailer. So here's uh, an in-cab view. Just chew it. side. Seems intense. Um, also the <laughs> engine snorkel is this pipe going through the middle of your view here. Let's just uh, stop for a second. So there's that pipe and then there's the air filter right there. So that is your intake. And Definitely a race machine. There's not a whole lot going on here. A couple of gauges there. unless you're running the walls like I tend to do. I'm trying to do too much of one time here. I'm trying to commentate and think about what I'm going to say instead of thinking about driving and where I'm pointing the vehicle. See, there we go. Hit a pole. So as you can see there, it's slow to get started, but once you're moving, She's uh, pretty quick. And another way that we'll be able to determine this is usually when I get to the town, um, it's dusk and it actually gets quite dark. So we'll see how far we get here. So 
this uh, river crossing is uh, usually pretty lucky at the start here. I'm just going to gear it down to get some more traction. So we'll drop in a load. Obviously, like I said, the diff lock is always on, so it makes no difference. So you're not really gaining any extra abilities here, except for slowing down tire speed for grip. Now, the other Bronco was able to make it through here without using a winch. Uh, it just did it a lot slower. As you can see, the water levels get dangerous, but not quite high enough to get into that engine intake at the top of the cage there. And no winch, made it to the other side. This part's a little <laughs> underwhelming, driving down the highway. As you can see there, we just hit a few rocks and no damage was taken, so it's a pretty uh, durable unit, pretty tough. Set the clock back to daylight hours. And then we will continue on the rest of our way to the garage. We'll go around those signs because we know how tough they are. Ooh, almost made it, but we didn't take any damage that time, so that was the main, important, main objective. This thing would definitely make an awesome uh, crawler. I mean, if you're gonna co op with your friends and uh, if you're not, I mean, it's it's an awesome scout. Like I said, it made it through the thick mud at the river there. Stay. 
stop talking while I'm driving. Uh, yeah, so I've made it through the mud there without any problems. We haven't had to use the winch yet. Um, I think I might take some of these better units over to Russia and test out some of the mud there. Maybe even the Yukon. The Yukon's got some pretty thick stuff going on. Um, just to prove the capabilities of these vehicles a bit more or how well they can be utilized. You know, take them somewhere more difficult than if they fail, but you guys have a lot better idea of whether or not you would like to download them. Uh, right now, since the update, obviously they increased the amount of or I guess I shouldn't say they increased, they decreased the RAM restriction. Um, so I have the other Bronco active as well as this one, along with all of my IX vehicles, um, the IX Wrecker and the IX-5. Uh, the IX Wrecker does take a bit of memory. Um, the 3880, I'm not sure if it's back yet, but um, I didn't really use it too often, so I actually unsubscribed from it and I have not re-downloaded it. But there you have it, we've made it back to the garage, we're in one piece, and... We did not even use any of our extra fuel. Uh, guess we could have repaired it a little bit, but overall it did quite well. Made it home safe. And, uh, yeah. So, as far as a review goes, probably give it four out of five stars maybe being a little picky about the uh, acceleration off the line but once up to speed it's a great unit uh, very stable it's got some speed to it uh, repair and fuel points obviously for scouting the bigger maps um, we should take it to a mandra that would be a real challenge to see how it does but as far as this video goes, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.